Hello, everybody. I am back, and I um, I'm going to continue working on my ocean journal. I'll show you what I've done so far. I have the front and the back cover. I'm planning on doing the um, oh my gosh, what do you call it again? Coptic stitch. So, and I've also put my sign. Oh, I I also did the insides of the front covers. I have some fabric that I laid down and then on top of that I put a piece of actual um, nautical chart that I'm using and I have my signatures. I have one, two, three, four, five signatures. Each signature has a piece of nautical chart, a piece of um, the inked bubbled um, paper that I made in the last video and this one's cardstock. And then it has two pieces of, um, I just love how this came out, two pieces of copy paper, then a piece of that gray paper that has the stenciled um, ammonites or nautilus, I think they're ammonites on it, and then another piece of copy paper, and then the center is a piece of cardstock. At the moment, that's what I have. And so they're all the same. So that's five pieces times five signatures is 20 sheets of paper. Siri, could you say that again? <laughs> Siri thinks I'm talking to her. Um, it's 20 sheets of paper. I may still put another sheet in the center of, um, of uh, scrapbooking paper, but I'm not sure yet. I kind of like that they're finished. So those are gonna go in here. I, I wound up making them a little bit short. Oh, I remember what I was gonna do. That's right, no, I'm not gonna put them in, in between. What I am gonna do is in between each of these five signatures. So there'll be four um, card stock from the scrap and picking papers, uh, like big pocket or folder or um, uh, like a big thing. And I was actually, thinking about that. And I'll do these on camera, I imagine. I'm going to do a gusseted envelope. I'm going to do a giant pocket that has like layered pockets on the outside of that. I'm going to do a mail slot and on one side and then on the back side it'll be these little like faux Tim Holtz slots. And I'm going to have a piece of inked tracing paper over this. And then the last one, I'm going to do a collage frame uh, on one side and a belly band. And this one is most definitely inspired by Corey Dahman at Scrapbooking with Scraps. Um, crafting with Scraps, Scrapbooking with Scraps, something journaling with Scraps. I can't remember the name of her channel anyway, but I'll link it when I get to it. So that's right. I forgot that that's what I had I had decided um, instead to put in between each one. So, and, the, and those I'm planning on having be, since I'm accidentally, made these just a smidge short. So I think what I'll do is I will have the in the the in between cardstock pockets come above on each one. So I think that will look cool. I think the edge is going to look cool because you, you're going to be able to see the um, map through the spine since it's going to be that um, uh, Coptic stitch. I did get myself some new um, waxed linen thread to use. I think I'm going to use these two colors, although I do have an intermediate. I have a cream and then I have like a, a lighter tan, I think. So we'll see. We'll see when we get there. And I also got myself some curved needles um, because I think that's going to help a lot when we do the, the binding. So that is where we are. And what I want to do today is um, I need some labels, some custom labels. And what I have here is a sheet of Avery, uh, eight and a half by 11. I'm pretty sure that's eight and a half by 11. Yeah, eight and a half by 11 
So it's a US letter size sticker sheet. It's one full sheet of sticker paper and I wanna make labels. So I'm gonna use my um, label stamps from Signet Stamps. Uh, but before I get that, I'm going to put down a background layer of stamps and I'm gonna put down um, some images of stamps. So what I have for images is I have these, the Tim Holtz, Stampers Anonymous Sea Life Collection. It's CMS304. I have some mini ones that I got off, I think I got these off eBay. Um, I also have these, which are the same stickers. I don't know where these came from. I, I think I got these when I first started out. Um, I'm not sure these are legit. I feel kind of bad about that, but I'm not sure. I have these two, these are legit Tim Holtz that I got off eBay. A compass and the word voyage, which I think is cool. I have my indigo blue Fibonacci stamp that I think we're gonna use as a background. I have a couple of Mackie stamps. I have the whale um, with the skeleton and this cute little sea dragon. I have a, um, a uh, whale one that I think this is from Michael, Michaels. It's called Mountainside Crafts. So it's a sperm whale. And then I have another compass. And I think that's all the ones that I pulled out. So what I want to start with is some background stamping. Oh, I also have, let's have this for a background stamp. Um, it, it's also a Tim Holtz one. It says, oh no, it's Stampendous. Oh, here, it does have a, an identification. Stampendous CRS5109, and it's from 2019. Um, okay, so there we go. I love, 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 love this stamp. This might, yeah, I think I need this block for this. Okay, but I want this to be in the background. Um, so I want it to be light. Oh, I didn't pull out, show you what colors I pulled out. I have Hickory Smoke, Faded Jeans, Mermaid Lagoon, Fossilized Amber, and Vintage Photo. I think I'm gonna do, actually, since this is such a big stamp, I also have this. A Ranger Archival Ink. These ones these are the more permanent inks. Um, oh, and I have some stays on. Because this is so slick, um, I don't think you can use the Distress Oxides and expect to have any kind of a um, clear image. So I'm going to start just by Stamping this in the background. So how are all of you? I hope you're all well. Welcome to my new subscribers. I'm so excited that I have some new subscribers. I had had a, a little bit of a dry spell, but you know, I wasn't posting that much. So as my daughter likes to tell me, you gotta post. Um, so anyway, so yeah, so welcome. And thinking I thought I had a piece of foam that I was using to put underneath the, the stamps at one point but I think I have misplaced that piece of foam okay I think I'll go this way here and I can fill it in between with this stamp I'm gonna go do one over here. Yeah, I'm tr I am trying to get to 500, you know? I mean, not 500, I'm trying to get to a thousand um, subscribers. And it's just taking a long time. And I'm gonna, I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep plowing ahead 
And I realize that people who have lots and lots of subscribers have lots and lots of subscribers because they post all the time. And it just seems to be a hard one, but I am ahead. So I had one video that went up today. That was the one with all the inking. Um, and um, yeah, so um, you know, I'm making the effort here. We'll see. I don't think I'm gonna put a put some. In between here like that just to fill in some of these spaces I like this crackle one Okay. All right, I'm good with that. Let me put this stamp back in to its container. I think we're done with my indigo blue. And now I want to start adding um, some of my creatures. I'm just going to stick this up here so it's out of the way. Um, so I love, well, you know what? I'm going to do this. I want to do this one. I love this one. I think I'm going to do this one in, I think Hickory Smoke is very pale. You know what? I have some other dark ones. I have this. I have Grand Espresso. Um, I have Black Soot and peeled paint peeled paint and black soot but that's kind of like the stays on so I don't know um let me do I'm gonna try the the stays on the black one or you know what I should have a white so I never forget who I saw do this first I don't know, like a year ago, I did this, and I know I watched someone do it, and then I saw a bunch of people do it after that, and I'm going to do this right here. And I can't, for the life of me, remember who did it first. It might have been Jessica Rapp. Yeah. Okay, I love the way this stays on smells. It's like almond. You know, it's a, a, um, it's hit or miss. I've seen people use it who say how much they dislike the, the smell. I'm looking for my water bottle. I can't find my water. Here's my little mini one. Just my, my, um, wipes have gone dry. And I'll stamp this off on here. Oops, not much there. Okay. So then let's do, we'll save the word for later. Um, let's do, definitely want my whale with the skeleton. And I want, I want that one in faded jeans. spam risk calls. Uh, put that right there. 
And then after I get all my creatures, then I'll go around and I'll place, oh, I like the faded jeans a lot, you guys. Um, I will place the, um, labels and then afterwards I'll cut them all out. Well, and then you add them to your pages just anywhere. You can add them to your tags. I think maybe my little dragon it should be hickory smoke. Oh, that's very light. Maybe I'll do another one in something more standout-ish. What do you think? Do you think he should be peeled paint? Let's try a peeled paint dragon. I want to do some inked tracing paper and when I ink tracing paper I tend to only use the ink and not the distress oxide um, because the dress oxide distress oxide leaves oh that's cute leaves an opacity um, and um, I want it to be see-through I really like the way it looks when you can see through an ink tracing paper page on a pocket so you can see what's behind the pocket. Okay, how about a, a, a big seahorse? Let's do these ones. Um, let's do, let's do a, a shell. And the shell I'm gonna do in, I'm gonna do it in ground espresso. That's so cool how you can see through it. <laughs> ah, well, that looks nice. I like the way that stands out. Okay. How about a, oops, wrong side. How about a seahorse? And then I definitely need to get some octopus tentacles. Um, should we do a fossilized amber seahorse? that's gonna stand out. I thought it was more honey than it is, but we'll try it. We'll see. I'll stick it right along the edge here. Oh, actually looks pretty cool. Let's get a 
little white. Okay, that's the seahorse. Sand dollar. How about a bright, bright blue sand dollar with uh, Mermaid Lagoon. Why didn't this close properly? Mermaid Lagoon. Oh, that was gonna look cool. Oh, I like Mermaid Lagoon. are enjoying your summer I mean it's been so hot and we live in southeastern Massachusetts and we have had no rain nothing for at least a month I, I asked the question on Facebook yesterday of my friends if anyone remembered locally when the last time was we had rain and I had comments like what's rain and uh, my memory has dried up. I mean, it has been, it really been that long. The grass is like, not only is it brown, but it's like hard and spiky and crunchy to walk on. It's unpleasant. And it's, it's very worrisome. That we've had so little rain. Like there've been a whole bunch of lines of thunderstorms um, that have come across Massachusetts, but they've all gone north of us. They've like all gone up towards Boston and they've completely missed us. Okay, I'm gonna put those to the side for now and I'm gonna get some of these. I really like the fishies on here. Love those fishies. So I definitely need some fishies. Um, what color, I'll just wait for that one, do I want the fish to be? I'm going to do, I'm going to do faded denim again. I like the faded denim. I'll put one right here. I'll do one, do one here. Oh no, what's that? I missed what happened there. It's okay, we're gonna cover it up with a fishtail. Like it never happened. Okay, and let's get the other fish going the other way. Um, should we just stick with faded denim? No, I think I'm gonna have a different color. What goes with faded denim? I think I'm gonna do ground, uh, ground espresso. What happened to ground espresso? Here's ground espresso. I like the ground espresso. And then we should get some Maybe some lobster. Very nice. Lobster. It's a green lobster.
we had a little bit of a cool down. Like it hasn't been in the hundreds in the past couple days. It's been in the 80s, which feels relatively comfortable. Um, but it's supposed to go up again. That's all to say. I hope you all all staying cool wherever it is that you guys live. We've been doing a lot of swimming. My husband and I um, have been doing a little uh, personal project this summer of swimming the coast, the entire coastline of the town that we live in. And we started in a river that leads down to an estuary. And our, our town consists of a couple of points. So we started in a river and we swam around this point and in three legs. So one leg, two leg, three legs. And then today we swam from here into the top of the harbor to here. And then our next one is gonna be from here to the next point. And then the next leg will be around that point into the other cove. So it was the longest one leg we've done was four and a half miles. And today's leg, I think I'm gonna do jeans again. I really like the jeans. Um, and then the, um, today's leg, we think we, we decided that it was about three miles. Um, our tracker had some kind of glitch, but it was a very lovely swim. I had hoped to stop at a friend of mine lives on her boat in the summertime. She owned, they live in a, a little beachfront cottage. Um, and then in the summertime, they rent out their beachfront cottage as a summer, like by the week for summer people. And they live on their boat, um, which allows them to maintain the lifestyle, which is fabulous. And then they weren't, she was, had just left to go to a shore to go to her yoga class. So we just, just missed her. <clears throat> She's retired. So that's her, her routine is she takes, I think, five yoga classes a week. Yeah. She's awesome. Okay. What else have we got? We've got, I've got this seahorse. I think we can do this seahorse in... Let's go with the fossilized amber again. Oh, this one's going to go right here. Excellent. Okay, so now I just have to get this little this little corner down here. Let's see, 1.30. Let's get it. about an hour and a half. I have to go help my husband. Um, he's doing helping a, a friend who does research on a local species of turtle that lives in the estuary areas of our harbor. Um, it's a Terrapin turtle, almost forgot the name for a second. So he's gonna go set some traps for live catching of turtles. Um, and then they monitor them and they catch them. And if they catch them, then they can tag them to try. Oh, my whale, I need my whale. This is definitely a um, faded jeans. Um, yeah, they'll tag them with a pit tag that is a radio cut type tag. So if they catch them again, they can scan them and see if they've caught them again. Uh, because there's very little known about these turtles. Although they live in the, the area in, the, in these waters and have for a long time. Um, and what the effects of climate change are on them because they, like sea turtles, they nest, they come up on the beaches and they nest in, in beaches. So there's a lot of 
um, areas where they can be disturbed by people. I'm gonna fill in a couple of blank spots with this one. And then I need my octopus. My octopus is my other favorite. Fill in the one right there. The other thing I like to do is fill in with just the tentacles. <laughs> so let me do a proper octopus down here. Maybe like that. Yeah, I think that's that's good. And I think I'm going to do do where's my green? I have to do a green one. There's a lot of old ink on here, so it'll be interesting to see what happens. It looks like there's some oxide or something on here. I don't remember what I did, but apparently I didn't clean it well last time. So it could be interesting. I'm fine with that. Ugh, I'm getting hot. Okay, just like this. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so now let's just take my friend here and let's take, um, let's take some ground espresso. Where's the ground espresso? Here's the ground espresso. Actually, you know what, I'll just use, no, yeah, ground espresso. And dip the tentacles, and every once in a while, do some random random tentacles. Coming in from the side of the page there. Like that. Maybe some across the lobster. It looks pretty filled in. Boom, good. All right, so now we're gonna bring in our, move my creature stamps to the side. Fun you. And I'm gonna bring in my signet stamps. Uh, signet stamps are found on Etsy. I have some other colors, hold on, I'm just reaching behind me. Give me a sec. Okay, so I have some blue and some red. 
labels and black. Let's start with black. And, oh, that's not what I want to use. So they have these great lined ones, but I'm not going to use that one for this particular thing. But I do want the big, big blank one. So let's... going to try and not get it on the inside. It's hard to sometimes not to. And then we're just going to go around and make labels. Ta-da! So you could totally write something in that. Do another row of black and then I'll switch colors and I'll make some smaller ones as well. See? Okay, so with this actually, with this next little space, Um, this one calls for a smaller one, and I think I'm going to go with red on that, on that sh compass, compass rose. And then when I'm done, I cut them out, and I have a whole bunch of really funky really funky labels to add to things. Sorry, I'm just getting my head down to see where it's gonna land here. I have a long one, I could top sure. What's this? Gentle thoughts of you, huh? Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. I have this long one. I can capture that edge bit there with the tentacles and a little bit of the <laughs> That'll be fun. Okay, so back to my big one. Where's my biggest one? This is my biggest one. I want to capture my whales. Um, and I think I'm going to go, where's my red cover? I'm going to go with blue stays on. Did I do too close to that one? Oh, I did, didn't I? Shoot. That happens. That's okay. I can, can cut very carefully down the center of that. Yeah, I forgot about that. You gotta be careful of that. Okay, let's do another one in this big and blue. I think I'm gonna try and get here. I'll just move along here. and get some of that. No, it's not going to quite fit. <coughs> All right, so I'm going to do the little dragon at the edge here. It's good, I got some tentacle in that. I need something for right there. So I need 
this one. Okay, let me cover this up and I'm gonna do the red. Oh, yikes. Okay, I'm gonna do it this way so that I can see my boundaries. good like that I think I'll do red on this sand dollar Use my big one for this. Should I stick with? No, I think I'll switch over to the blue. That's a good one. These do take a while, to, a little while to dry because the the surface is so slick. All right, let's do another one with the the this edge and then that edge of the of the fishies. I really like the red labels. They just say label to me. I'm gonna do a red one next. Yeah, I mean, I love that one too, but I'm gonna do a red one. Is this my biggest one or is this my biggest one? This is the biggest one. Okay, let me do a red big one. And I know I'm not cleaning off my stamp. If you want absolute purity in your stamp color, go for it. Clear it off, but I don't really, I don't, I don't need it. I don't mind some mixing of colors. I really don't. Okay. Let's see. I should do some smaller size so I'm getting carried away with the size. I just love the size because it captures so much. Ta-da! I love that. That's great. I did come off the page a little, but that's okay. That is okay. So let's do, got this size and this size. This size is bigger. Will this size fit right here? Yes, it will. Get a seahorse head. Like that, and then I'm gonna use my smaller one. These now come in, I got these in their first making. They now come in um, a clear cling stamp. Oh, I messed that one up. That's too bad. Oh, it's okay. They come in a clear cling stamp and they come in um, the unmounted I think I need to try and get that whale. Let's get that whale. They come in an unmounted 
version of this type with the foam, um, but not mounted on, on wood. I think if I were to just to get them for the first time now, that's how I would do it. I love the wooden blocks are just hard to store. All of that. Okay. I'm going to do another one with that lobster. I should switch to blue. I'm doing too much red. I'll do some blue down here. Is this the bigger of these two? It is hard to tell. It's the there's a tiny one. There's a medium and there's a large in this in this shape. I think I need the largest one. Oh, I was gonna do oh no, that's right. I was gonna do blue. Oh, I cut his little face. Oh, that's exciting. Um, and then these guys. I think I'm going to do a big one. This is my big one. Maybe I will try. I'll try a lined one. So you can see. And I think I'll do a lined one in black. Sorry, I thought my head there. Sorry. <laughs> oh no, he's in jail. <laughs> okay. And this last little bit of that seahorse, what will fit? That will fit. I'll do that in black too. Because it's open. No other reason than that. You get the seahorse belly. There we go. I think, I do believe, I can get something going down there and that that might be an interesting stamp. Okay, hold on, where's my long one? My long skinny ones. I've got this long skinny one. I've got another one and I've got this long skinny one. So this one is longer. I think I can yeah, I can definitely, oh, that might be a really interesting one right there. Okay, just going to use black because I have it open. Okay, so I can get, I think I'm going to get these bits there. A 
and then I have some other very smallish ones also. Got the small square. No, that's not going to fit there. I have a very small square. Look how tiny, teeny, teeny, tiny that is. I think I could probably get the word C. Um, I don't want the word hell. Um, what else? Any other little bits that I could rescue from oblivion? Nope, that's it. Okay, so now I'm going to cut them out. I will um, take a photograph of them all cut out, and I will make that the cover photo so you can see. I can also stick it at the end, I think, um, so you can see what they've done. And I will put a, a picture of the, the cut up ones on my Instagram as well, which is Osh Ocean Adroma Journals. So thanks so much for watching and I hope you stay safe and have a great day. Bye-bye.